hi flowers and welcome back to a brand new video i think this is like the first proper video for 2020 and for this video we are going to be talking about my goals and plans for this year um i haven't set too many purely because i want them to be achievable throughout the year um and one that's already on there I've achieved already um so that could be one that could be ticked off the list but again I will go through them all um I do hope you all had a lovely Christmas and a really really good new year as well um but without further ado let's get into the video so I have written down sort of all the goals and plans that I have for 2020 I have a pen here as well just in case I think of anything else um but so let's get into the first one so the first one which I have achieved already and can be ticked off is for this year I wanted to have a family holiday just because I done a few holidays last year um by myself and with James and I did do one with summer but without James so this year we decided that we'd like to go on a family holiday um we literally booked this I think it was like two days after Christmas we were having really really bad January blues well Christmas blues but obviously we knew January was coming up and we had nothing really planned or to look forward to so we then decided that we'd book a holiday so that's what we've done and we have all year to pay it off we don't go until July um so we have time to do that so that was like one of the biggest things that I wanted to do this year so that is what we've done so that is one that I've already ticked off for this year so that's one that's been achieved already um so it's not as if they're not going to be achievable because I've already done one already I'm on a roll um the second thing um that is more of a it's more of plans but it is also a goal as well but it is to redecorate the flat I have been here about a year now over a year and it's never really been finished um just because I'm in two minds um about certain things but I think I want to just redecorate and do a room at a time you know new new carpets sofas all that kind of thing and just make it feel more homely because even though it does feel homely it just doesn't feel really homely like I would like it to um just because there's bits that are unfinished um but that kind of leads in to the third thing to make steps to moving so I know you're probably thinking why would you want to redecorate and then move because my logic is I know we're probably going to be here for the next year or two um and while we're here I'd rather make it a home knowing that we're going to be here for that long that I'm going to be here for that amount of time um just because it's going to take time for me to save and then move just because don't get me wrong I love my little flat but I'd love to be in a house um but obviously right right now and obviously when I did move that wasn't an option for me and I kind of had to take the first thing that was available so that is definitely a goal maybe not for this year but to obviously start saving and then to be able maybe the following year or the year after or however long it takes um to then eventually move out which is definitely a goal um lots of saving that needs needs to happen but um they those two are kind of joined together because of, i am going to be here for quite some time because obviously trying to get a house whether that be to rent or to buy it takes time and money and to find the right place as well so i know that's probably not going to happen this year but the goal is to start saving then for a house um which you know I feel like I'm becoming a proper adult now <laughs> um even though I've practically moved out into this flat over a year ago and I moved out at the age of 17 so it's not as if I haven't had to be an adult for quite some time now um the fourth thing is to be more organized so I just generally don't feel like I'm organized like 
I lose track of time really easily. I'm never on time for things. Um, ask anyone, especially my mum and dad. Like they tell us the time will be there like an hour later. I'm just never on time. Just being more organised at home. Um, just it's kind of like just a whole general thing. Like it just for me just to be more organised because I am so messy. I'm just like so all over the place. Um, I just think I need to get into a routine of becoming more organised, um, which will help, which that's not necessarily a goal. Well, it is a goal because I am a very messy person and I'm never on time. Like, I just, do you know what I mean? I'm just like, I just go with the flow, but I think I need sort of more structure and to be more organised, if that makes sense. Probably making no sense and probably rambling so much rubbish, but um, you kind of get the idea. Um, the next thing, which is probably definitely a goal, um, and it would be to have a change of career. Um, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love my job. Um, and I love the people I work with, they are amazing and I am so lucky to work with the people that I do work with and to have um, a boss like I do because they they do tend to fit a lot of things around me purely because I have summer. Um, but it's not something that I'd like to do forever. So finding a new career is definitely a goal for this year. Um, I don't want to be in the restaurant or cafe trade for the rest of my life, I really don't. Um, I'd like to do something different. Um, so that is gonna be like one of the top goals for this year is to probably set out and find a new career for myself. Um, just, I think when you're in a job that you don't necessarily love as a whole, but obviously you love the people you work with, it is quite hard to get up every single day and go to work. Um, when your heart's kind of elsewhere, if that makes sense. So that's definitely something that is on the agenda for this year, for sure. Um, because I want something new and challenging and something that's going to benefit me, if that makes sense. I don't know. Um, the next thing is kind of tying in with the, the one that I've just explained, but is to get a qualification. So obviously I have all my GCSEs. I never did A-levels because I ended up getting pregnant. Um, I have done online courses, but I think I want to extend it a little bit further. So I do have a qualification in gel polish. Um, and I think I want to extend that further by doing things like lashes, brows, waxing, sort of extend it further and then maybe go into the beauty industry. Um, maybe even take a course or class on makeup. Yes, I am self-taught, but to actually have a qualification and say, yes, I am qualified to do so would be absolutely amazing. And it's something that I have definitely wanted to do for a very long time, but never really got around to doing it. Um, so that is definitely, again, on my list of goals for this year. Um, and again, I've only had, I have only have like nine goals and achieve like and plans for this year. Um, so that should be a very achievable and I've already completed one so it shouldn't be too hard I say um, the next thing which is a goal is to be more positive um, I am a very sensitive person and when I receive negativity I definitely take it to heart um, I sort of go back into myself, um, sometimes when people say things in certain ways I take it to heart as well and I just think this is the time to be more positive, think positive and just be positive. Um, I definitely think that's a very big thing for me, um, especially because I think that it will definitely help with my um, anxiety and things like that. Um, just to sort of change the way that I see things and how I take things. And I think maybe taking things with a pinch of salt and being a positive person in yourself, it it kind of spreads. Um, and I think definitely taking any negativity out of my life as well will definitely help with that. Um, the next thing, which is definitely a very, very big thing, 
um, for me for this year is to do better with YouTube. So I have been on YouTube for about, I think I set up my YouTube channel about four years ago. I think it's around about then. And I did post a few things here and there, but I was never really consistent. Um, just because I, I, I started with basically nothing and I thought to myself, I was watching everyone else and I thought, well, I don't have that setup. I don't have the perfect camera. I don't have this. I don't have that. I can't do it. But in actual fact, that's where you learn and you grow. So I think I definitely want to do better. I definitely want to create better content as well. And I definitely feel like I need to invest more time and be more consistent, consistent. That sounded really weird when I said that. And be more consistent with the videos and the things that I post. So obviously I do try and post between once and twice a week and maybe three times a week. And they're always on their set days. So it's normally a Wednesday and a Saturday. Um, and then there may be the odd time there is a Monday, depending on how productive I've been during the week and whether I've got things edited and things like that. Um, obviously I want to grow my subscribers and viewers. Um, I actually didn't really start taking this too seriously until last year, um, where I definitely thought to myself, this is something that I want to do. Like I enjoy doing it. Um, I love just talking even though people find it very weird that you're basically talking to yourself. Um, and obviously some family and friends just don't understand why, but it makes me happy. And I think that obviously you have to be consistent. You have to put in the hard work. Things aren't just gonna happen overnight. Um, so I definitely am going to invest more time um, and hard work into YouTube because I do absolutely love doing it. And then finally, the last goal of this year is to become more healthier and to lose weight. So I will be joining Slimming World probably next month, which is will be February time, just because obviously we still have loads of stuff left from Christmas, like chocolate crisps, cheeses, just everything you can think of. So I kind of want to get rid of all that first before I start to think about losing weight and getting healthier. Um, I joined Slimming World about five years ago and I done really well, I lost about two stone, um, obviously because I had to try and lose the baby weight after having summer, um, and I done really, really well and I did enjoy it, um, I was going to the gym, I was going running, I was doing all that and then obviously, I know it's not really an excuse but obviously I had a relationship breakdown and, um, I've sort of gained all that weight back um I just want to lose just a little bit not a lot and obviously I just want to be healthier make better and healthier life choices and food choices because we do spend quite a lot of money on takeaway which doesn't help the situation um but I definitely want to sort of cut out not all takeaways but obviously just completely cut down and maybe have one like once a month or something as a treat um but that is definitely something that I really, really want to be focus focused on this year. And if you guys sort of like watching that, I will document um, my journey and how things go. Like what I eat in a day on Slimming World, sort of my progress, things I found difficult, things I find easy, things I like, dislike, kind of all that things. Because I know I like watching videos like that. So that's definitely something that I will consider doing um, video wise for this year. Um, but they're kind of the, like, goals that I have for this year. Um, I'm super excited to, obviously, start getting towards them. Um, it's crazy to think that it is now 2020. Um, I know we're, like, by the time this goes up, we'll probably be, like, eight days in, I think. So it'll be the eighth when this goes up, I think. Um, but I still can't quite get over the fact that we are now in 2020. We are in a new decade. It's just, it's just absolutely crazy to me that time has literally flown by and it doesn't seem to be slowing down. So I think we have to set little goals and achievements and plan things, not necessarily like completely plan things, but plan things to look forward to, um, cause it just makes the year more 
more fun and enjoyable and I think this year is going to be a good year for me um I mean I had a good year last year don't get me wrong but I am definitely more um focused on this year and getting plans goals everything that I want to achieve from this year done this year um so many people that I've spoken to have all said that 2020 is their year and I am completely with them on this one but that is it for this video um I hope this kind of helps you in deciding whether you want to make plans and goals for this year um obviously I kept them to a small amount just because I want I want them to be achievable and I think maybe halfway through the year I'll update you on whether I've achieved any um and sort of how it's all going um but if you did enjoy this video don't forget to click the subscribe button down below um click the notification bell and click the thumbs up um I try and post two times a week which obviously I've said previously so I try and post on a Wednesday and a Saturday um there may be the odd weeks that it's Sunday and if you're very very lucky you will get a third video from me which is normally posted on a Monday um but that is it from me and I will see you guys very very soon in a brand new video bye